In this tutorial we'll learn about the technique called framing. The objective of this technique is to darken the edges of the image. To do this we will use selection tools and adjustment layers. The reason we darken the edges in landscape photos is to draw the eye of the viewer back into the actual photo. Landscapes by nature will generally not have a definitive edge so the eye can wander off to the edge of the photo. A darkening of the edges enhances the photo and returns the viewer's eyes to the center to the subject that we're interested in. This is quite a simple technique. First we will use the rectangular marquee tool which is here to select the entire photo. Once we've done that, right mouse click in the actual selection area and choose feather. Now the amount of feather depends on the size of your photo. This is a rather large photo, so I'm going to use 250 pixels. Though for your photos, you may choose 150 pixels or so. Click OK. You can already see the feather effect around the outside here. Now at the moment we've got the center of the photo selected. We want to select the edges. So to do that we go into inverse selection. We manage this by right clicking and choosing select inverse. We now have the outside of the image selected. The final step is to add an adjustment layer and that layer will be a curves layer and then dragging the curve down from the middle we will darken the outside of the image as you can see in the preview on the image there so I'm going to turn the preview off and back on and click OK. So we now have a curves layer which darkens the edges of our image and has an effect of giving a landscape photo a bit more of a defined edge. If I turn it off we've gone from that to this.